Thanks for checking out this haul video. Uh, it's kind of different, but um, it ties in with like the snacku box unboxing and tasting that I end up doing. So while everyone's kind of just shutting their houses for who knows how long, I was like, I'm working from home. So I was kind of like, I need a way to kind of treat myself a little bit throughout the day. And I started thinking, I'm like, what could I get? And then I thought, I really like high chew when I get it in my snacku boxes. And usually I only get like one stick of it. And I just like it a lot. So I was just like, yeah, I wonder if I can order some online, you know, a more substantial amount. So I found out you can actually order directly through the company that makes Haichu. I think they're called like Moranga or something like that. And they actually have bundles, what they call bundles, like starter packs and stuff like that for, you know, instead of just buying like an individual stick or one bag, like they'll bundle a bunch of different flavors together and send it out to you. So I actually bought what I think what's their, what's called like their starter bundle or something. So if you have interest, just check out, you can literally just Google Haichu and like the company that comes up, go to that. So I have a lot of Haichu now and I'm going to enjoy it. So on this video, I'm going to show you what Haichu I ended up getting from them. I don't have any affiliation with them or anything like that. I just like the stuff. And then I'm going to taste a few on here. Not, I'm not going to go through and taste all of them because I have a lot of flavors. A lot of them, you'll know what they're going to taste like. So, you know, I'm not going to taste those on here. Ones that I'm not 100% sure what they're going to taste like. I'll taste those on here, and I'm only going to eat half of each little piece because then the other half I'll save for my wife if she wants to try them. So first of all, I got a bunch of the little sticks. Uh, so I got a strawberry. I'm not going to try this one because strawberry tastes like strawberry. And one of the things I love about Haichu in particular is that it tastes a lot kind of like, like a Starburst or something in the United States, except the sugar level is way, way lower. And that's one of my issues with sweets in the U.S. is they're usually too sweet for me. So I love Japanese sweets because the sugar level is way, way down. So then we also have green apple, which who doesn't like some green apple? I'm not trying that one either. Another one I'm not trying, but very excited to eat grape. I love grape flavored things. I'm sure these are very tasty. Um, here's one I am going to try out. And actually, I'll go with that. This is... A chai or acai. I know those are two different ways that I usually hear people say it. I'm going to try this one because I don't really know what this tastes like. Like on its own, what that berry tastes like. So actually I'm just going to do it right now and then I'll keep going. Um, I already took this out of the thing. so It smells... It smells berry-like. It's weird. Actually, it's weird. It's got like... A mixture of like a, a blackberry, raspberry, and a peach. It's interesting. And I always like how it's like two colors with these. Mm. So this taste, the flavor of the actual like fruit is a little bit lower. I'm... I'm not able to perceive it as much in as I do in like a lot of the other flavors that the Haichu does, but this one's much more sweet. And it's like a very subdued, like blackberry flavor kind of, with like a touch of peach, which is weird. But it's okay. It's not my favorite. But I don't really dislike it, so that's good. It's not my thing. And what's my next one? Um, let me go with this. I'm going to try this one on here. Mango, I ended up with. Because I don't think I've ever had any, like, mango-flavored candies like this. Especially not, like, a gummy one. So, or not gummy, like, chewy or anything like this. So, let me, let me give this mango a shot. Ooh, it's, like, white on the outside and, like, very, very light yellow on the inside yeah geez it smells like vibrant mango very strong which mango to me smells like a like a citrus fruit mixed with some pine and that's what it tastes like it's very low-key it's not super sweet or anything there's not really much of any like tartness or tang to it hmm okay I like it. That's a lot more subdued than I thought it was going to be. I'm okay with that. Um, 
I did not order, this was not in part of my order, but they did send three loose ones of their Pina Colada. I'm not going to try this on here because I've already had two of them. And this is the last one left. I'm going to save it for my wife because she likes it. Um, it tastes like Pina Colada. I mean, it's like coconut and pineapple and it's, it's pretty good. So that's cool that they gave a little freebie in there. And then the last one of the sticks that I have, and I will try this one, but I'm gar almost guaranteeing I'm not going to like it, is banana. I hate banana flavored things. I like bananas. I hate banana flavored things. So I'm assuming I'm really going to hate this. So no matter what this tastes like, I'm probably going to dislike dislike it. Um, although my mother, I was telling her about getting this and she she had interest in the banana. So I was like, look, if I drop some stuff off for you at some point at your house, I'll do that. Ugh. It has that very like fake artificial banana smell that I hate. Kind of like banana runts. Ugh. Okay, I'm not like a fan. I wouldn't seek this out, but to be honest, that banana isn't as in your face and aggressive as it usually is flavor-wise in a lot of other things. So it's not terrible, but I'm not really a fan of it. So then there were two like bags of of like an assortment of flavors. I'll show you this first one. I am not going to try any of these because we kind of will all know what the flavors are going to kind of be like but this is our sweet and sour pack and it's watermelon lemon and grapefruit i'm getting excited about lemon but lemon with this should probably be pretty good because it's like low sugar but the watermelon is probably gonna be really good and the grapefruit in particular very interested in the grapefruit now this one i'm gonna go through and try well, I already tried mango. Mango's included in this one, but I'm going to try the other three. And this is their immensely fruity, intensely chewy tropical mix. And we have kiwi, mango, pineapple, and dragon fruit. Most interested in the dragon fruit, because I don't really know what dragon fruit on its own tastes like. But we're going to find out. Rip into the top. So let me find these. Don't need the mango. All right, here's a dragon fruit. Set that aside. Here's a kiwi. Yeah, I'm interested in the kiwi too because sometimes I'm like, what What do people think kiwi should be tasting like? Because actual kiwi flavor versus artificial kiwi flavor can be kind of weird. Okay, so I'm going to do dragon fruit last because I really don't know what that's going to be like. Let's do the pineapple right now. I'm assuming this will taste like, you know, what you're used to pineapple tasting like. Plus, I have a good idea because <clears throat> the pineapple coconut of the pina colada, this will just probably be a more dialed up pineapple. Ooh, my gosh. Ooh, wow. That smells really good. It's like, it literally smells like the golden ring, like fl fresh pineapple. Ooh, that's beautiful. That smells so good. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like juicy, flavorful pineapple, but not too sweet. Once again, wow. Okay, I dig that. I definitely like that more than the banana. Definitely more than the mango. Definitely more than the a chai or acai. It's my favorite one thus far that I'm trying on here. I have a feeling my favorite favorites are gonna be like grape and strawberry, most likely, but maybe grapefruit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. That's a good one. Okay, now let's go to the kiwi next. Kiwi. And like I said, I have no affiliation, just reiterating. I just like Haichu stuff. But if anyone from Haichu ends up seeing this and was like, oh, that's super cool, you can feel free to send me free Haichu. I wouldn't turn it down. Oh man, it kind of, it like it, it looks like it's got the seeds, like kiwi in it. That's pretty cool. So it's like a light, like mint green on the outside and like a white on the inside. So it smells, so this is interesting. It smells a little kiwi, but it also smells like a mix between, between um, cantaloupe and green apple, which is kind of weird. This is a very soft flavor. 
a very soft flavor. I don't think, if somebody had me try that and then told me that that's kiwi, I wouldn't be able to figure this out. So it's got a little bit of like a, a tanginess on the finish that I like, but up front, it does kind of taste like a very subdued green apple mixed with a cantaloupe. It's weird. It's okay. I especially do like the tanginess at the end, but I wouldn't be able to be like, that's kiwi. Okay, so let's try this last one. I'm going to do the dragon fruit. Very interested in this one. So since this actually has like these seeds, I wonder if those seeds are going to be on this one since it was with the kiwi. That would be cool. Yeah, sure enough. You can see that. They have little seeds on there. That's cool. It's like white in the middle, purplish, pinkish on the outside. Ooh. It's like this beautiful, like fruity, yet also floral smell. And it's really light. This this also is a little bit peachy in smell. It's like mango, peach, and light pineapple. This also is a very light flavor. Oh, it's building at the end though. Just like the uh, kiwi one, the tanginess is really hitting at the very end. And I like that. And it's building a good amount. That's really nice. It seems like an indescribable fruit though. And a lot of that's probably because I've never had dragon fruit on its own before. I've had dragon fruit like in beer, so I couldn't necessarily just pick that out. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Love that pineapple though. But anyway, there you go. I just tried some of the high chews that I've never had before. Um, hopefully this was interesting to people. This is a weird haul video, I know, but just wanted to kind of share this with people and be like, look. This is what I decided to do while I was shut in, let people know. If you also like Haichu, you can just order from them directly. I feel like it's kind of worth it. It's not crazy expensive or anything, so just a nice little snack to have around. Like I said, if anyone from Haichu sees this, you can send me some free stuff. I wouldn't mind. But anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. If you like any of the videos I do, hit that subscribe to pay me back because I don't get paid or anything for this. But thanks for spending your time here. Put down some comments, do the likes, all that stuff. Until next time, keep it brutal.